Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, so glad to have you. My name is Ebony, I'm a furniture artist and I specialize in taking neglected pieces of furniture and turning them into something beautiful. In today's video, I'll be transforming this hutch. I found this at the flea market close to a year ago and I wanna say we spent about $35, no more than 40 for sure. You will notice that the back panel is a little banged up that happened as we were loading this into the car, but not to worry because I'm going to be fixing all of that on today. I also wanna mention that this piece will not be for sale, but I would love to know how much you guys think it would go for after you see the final transformation. But this one is one that we are gonna keep and it's going in our kitchen and I'm just so excited. So keep watching as we get into this transformation. Okay, so I'm gonna start by removing all of the doors, all of the hardware, and most of the glass. You will notice, however, the two corner panels were not able to be removed, so I'll just have to tape that off later in the video. So before I moved on to the cleaning process, I did want to vacuum out some of the debris that was left on the inside of this hutch. However, one thing I would do differently next time is I'll be sure to just wipe back all of that dust before I go in with my soapy water so that I don't have to worry about changing out my water just as much as I did. I definitely had to switch this water out so many times because it was just really dirty, really muddy. So that's a quick tip but i like to use just dish soap and water just because i have a lot on hand and it just saves me an extra expense but you do want to be sure to rinse back after you're done with this process Okay, so the next step in the process is to make any wood filler repairs and to plug any unnecessary holes. Okay, so the next step is to remove the back on this hutch, and I'm doing this for a few different reasons. One, I want it to be nice and easy when I go in with my paint sprayer to get into any corners because my paint gun needs to be held more in a vertical position. Two, when I go to add my wallpaper, it would be much easier if I can just apply it in one long strip instead of having to break it up like a puzzle piece. And three, you guys did see the backing on the right side of the hutch was banged up. I wanna say it was the right side. I don't really know. But I ended up having to just break it apart. I tried to salvage the other side by being gentle and pulling it off in one, one piece, but that was not gonna happen, so it's okay. I did have the material to go ahead and replace the backing anyway, so it didn't cost me anything extra.
Okay, so now we're ready to sand. I'm gonna start by trying to flatten these button pieces. Some of them I was able to sand them more flush and others of them I had to pry out altogether. So either way, I got it done. I did use Bondo for the ones that I pried out. I could have done a better job at making things more seamless, but I know what to do differently next time. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and do my scuff sanding and I'm gonna sand the entire piece with a medium grit sandpaper. Okay, so we're nearing the end of day one, but tomorrow morning, the first thing I'm gonna do is come out and start the painting process. So you'll notice we skipped primer for this particular piece. And for a, a couple of different reasons, one, I'm not concerned about any bleed through. Two, I know that the adhesion will be up to my standards. And also our household, our family, we do pretty good about maintaining the furniture that I flip. So I'm not really concerned about scuffing happening anyway. And so I'm going to be using Command, Benjamin Moore's Command in the color black. I have a crazy obsession with black paint these days and I want all of my furniture to be black. So that's what I'm going to do. And I think that this painting process is really a vibe. So I'm not going to do any talking. That's why I kind of wanted to tell you guys now. So go ahead, keep watching and let's get into it. Okay, so I ordered this pill and stick wallpaper on Amazon. I just ordered one roll. I can't remember exactly how much it was. I wanna say around 30 something dollars. I'll, I'll be sure to link it down below. But I could have gotten away with getting two of these because I did wanna do the inside of the base of the hutch. And I did have a strip left. I could have probably made it work if I would've done a whole puzzle situation, but I decided not to do that. So. Anyway, the, the process for the most part was pretty simple. I'm just gonna lay it out, cut it close to size, and then smooth it down with this blue thingy as I go. So when I came to the second board, I just lined it up exactly with the first board. That way I could just do them 
kind of at the same time and then just cut down that middle center section i hope i'm making sense but if not i'm pretty sure it's pretty clear what i'm doing in the video i did leave like a half an inch in between the two boards so i had some cutting room and then i'm just going to do the same process all over again okay and now i'm going in with this um it's like a staple gun slash nail gun and it attaches to my compressor and i'm just going to staple the backing to the hutch i will say it looks super simple and it, it could have been really simple but i did make a kind of a rookie mistake and i was able to fix it but i'll probably talk about that in the vlog so keep watching for the vlog that you'll see next week and with that being said we're about to get into the results of this hutch i'm super excited you guys if you can't tell by my voice so let's get into it Okay, so thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to leave a comment down below letting me know how much you think I could sell something like this for. And be sure to hit the subscribe button. And be sure to follow me over on Instagram at beautyfromneglect. See you next time.